Hey YouTube, Nintendo Craft Studios here. Gonna be doing another unboxing, and this time it's n nothing new. This is something kind of old. Well, this version isn't very old. The ColecoVision Flashback. Now, this is a flashback console of the original ColecoVision, which released, I think, 1982. I'm not sure. But since this is a flashback and includes 60 built-in games that it says right there, this is technically not very old. It's, like, probably one or two years old. And I bought this at Toys R Us. That's the place I found it. For about $30. Pay probably a little more if you include tax. So, let's get down to the bottom of it. We just get the title, the picture of the product, some of the great games. On the side, it just says Coleco Game Console, designed wire controllers, overlays. Because I will show you that when we look at the controllers, plug and play, and I'll show you that once we get to the cords. This is the library, I believe, of games for the console, and then, then just stuff on the back. 2014 Coleco. So, it is two years old. So, you just... Sorry, but this is my first time doing this sort of thing. And I will cut to when I get it open. Alright, I got the box open, so the way you have to do it is there's a piece of tape you have to get off. And then you just pull it from right here and open it up. So, just the instruction booklet for it. And then we have all the stuff. So, what we get is the flashback itself, controllers, and then the AC adapter. So, I'll take a look at this. This is the AC adapter. This is very different from the original ColecoVision's AC adapter. I do remember in the Angry Video Game Nerds video, he said it was ridiculously huge. And I will leave a link to the, in the description to his video about it. Very small, and guess we'll go on to controllers. This is what the ColecoVision controller looks like. You've got a keypad, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero, and then this, and then the hashtag. Then you get this button on this side, and the button on this side. Then you've got this joystick as well. It's pretty stiff, but on this version, they, it's not as stiff as the original. And I do not own an original ColecoVision, so just know that. Then we've also got another ColecoVision controller, and I'm not going to go over that. What we're interested in is the thing itself. It's very, it's not heavy at all, but, and here it is, here's the top, ColecoVision flashback, here is the reset button right here, and the power button right here, then we've got ports for the controllers, and I'll show it right now, and don't know if it's well I just wanted to show it and then on the sides nothing at all you also got this bumpy design as well and on the bottom nothing else just ColecoVision also the this is AV out it is I it says so right here as well now this is actually hardwired into the system but this cord is kind of long. So that is the... Oh, oh, I almost forgot about this. These are the overlays for the games. And these are used because of the games having keypads. 
it's kind of hard to know what you got to do. Now, I don't know exactly how they work, so I'm just going to put this, this thingamajig onto this controller to see how it works. I guess there's no way you can put these in here. I guess you just gotta memorize them. I remember with the Intellivision, you actually could put them right over the keypad. But then again, please let me know in the comments how to do it. So that is the ColecoVision. Now you're probably wondering about the games. I'm gonna do two separate videos at least about all the games so please stay tuned for for that this weekend thanks for watching